In this video, we are going over everything you need to know about the Mavic 2 Pro controller, including the buttons, ports, and connectors on the controller, how do you maneuver and fly your drone, and how do you control the camera using these buttons and dials on the back of the controller. We'll also briefly compare it with the previous generation Mavic Pro controller. Both of these are using DJI's OcuSync technology for a 4.3 mile range. There are a few key differences though. First, on the left, you'll notice the connector cable for connecting the controller to your smartphone is now a braided cable instead of a flat cable. On the right side of the device, there's a new flight mode on the Mavic 2 Pro. We have T for tripod, P for positioning, and S for sport, whereas previously we just had sport mode. The control sticks on the Mavic 2 Pro controller can now be unscrewed and stored beneath the controller for a slimmer profile while traveling. Uh, the one thing I will say about this though is it does make the control sticks easier to lose. I personally recommend keeping your control sticks installed on your controller as you are less likely to lose them. And the final major difference between these two controllers is battery. The Mavic Pro controller has a 2,970 milliamp hour battery, whereas the Mavic 2 Pro controller has a whopping 3,950 milliamp hour battery. So you basically get a thousand extra milliamp hours, which is great because these controllers do charge your phone while you're flying and extra battery life is always appreciated. So those are the major differences you should know about. Now let's go over the external buttons and connectors on the Mavic 2 Pro controller. On the left, you still have your micro USB charging port. You also use this for connecting your phone to the controller, which will be running DJI Go 4. One thing I do wanna mention is the Mavic 2 AC power adapter has a micro USB cable built into it. This is extremely helpful. It means if you bring this AC power adapter, you're good to charge your drone and the controller. On the bottom of the controller, you have your mobile device clamp, which again is where you can plug in your smartphone, whether it is an Android phone or an iPhone. And you can see this is where the cable comes out and connects to. When you slot your phone in, you just wanna make sure that cable is lined up with the connector on the phone itself. That way uh, it's plugged in and ready to go. And you can see here, there were some adjustments made to the grip. There's an extra cutout for accessing your fingerprint reader on the iPhone and even extra cutouts for face ID or face unlock sensors to work as well. That is a welcome improvement to the Mavic 2 Pro controller. And of course, up top, we have our antennas. You do wanna have these positioned as far apart as possible for the best signal strength and reception when you're controlling your drone. On the top right of the controller, we have our power button. If you push it once, you'll get your battery percentage. If you push it and then press and hold, this will power on the controller. And again, it'll display the battery percentage. If you wanna turn the controller off, you press and then press and hold, and it will power off. On the top left of the controller, we have our return to home button. If you press and hold this, your drone will initiate the return to home sequence, which is where it will fly straight up to its predefined altitude, fly back over to where it originally took off, and then descend down for a gradual landing. On the bottom left of the screen, we have our emergency stop brake button. Pressing this will bring your drone to an emergency stop and it will hover in place. And on the bottom right of the display, we have our 5D button. This can be pushed up, down, left, right, and in. Uh, for basically five different actions. And on the top of the controller, this is where we can find our camera controls. We have our recording button, uh, an adjustment dial, a camera button, and another dial. And on the back of the controller, we have two custom buttons. So let's dive into how to control and maneuver your drone using the Mavic 2 Pro controller. And you do that using these two joysticks right here. There's also some settings features and functionality in the DJI Go 4 application. We'll have another video talking about that. First, to take off your drone, you have two different options. You can start the propellers either by pushing both sticks inwards and down, like so, or pushing both sticks outwards and down, like so. This will start your propellers. Once your propellers are started, you can gradually push the left stick up to take off. And again, there is an option to slide to take off 
in the DJI GO 4 application. Once you are airborne, the left stick controls the altitude and rotation of the drone. If you push the left stick forward, the drone will fly up, down, the drone will fly down, to the right, the drone will rotate to the right, and to the left, the drone will rotate to the left. The right stick controls the roll and pitch of the drone. So if you push the right stick forward, the drone will pitch forward. If you push it down, the drone will pitch backwards. If you push it to the right, the drone will roll right. And if you push it to the left, the drone will roll left. And those are the basics for controlling your drone. Of course, you can do multiple maneuvers at the same time. For example, flying up, rotating to the left, and rolling right. Um, and you can basically combine these different maneuvers in different ways to achieve your desired shot or fly the drone in certain patterns. Now let's talk about how to control the camera of your drone. You do that using these buttons and dials up here, as well as using the 5D joystick on the bottom right of the display. In the top left, we have our camera tilt. This will tilt the camera either down or up. We have our record start stop button. If you press once to start recording, press again to stop recording. On the right, we have our camera button. You can depress this halfway to focus the camera and depress it fully to take a picture. And on the Mavic 2 Pro, we have our exposure dial. This will adjust the exposure of the image, either increase it or decrease it. And on the Mavic 2 Zoom, this will either zoom the camera in or zoom the camera out. The 5D button also controls different aspects of the camera. Pushing it to the left will decrease the exposure value. Pushing it to the right will increase the exposure value. Pushing it up or down actually does the same thing. It will recenter and adjust the gimbal to be either perfectly straight down or perfectly level with the horizon line. And finally, pushing it in will bring up the DJI GO 4 intelligent flight menu on your phone. And lastly, there are two more buttons on the back of the controller. These are custom buttons that can be configured within the DJI GO application. We have on the left, custom button one, and on the right, custom button two. By default, custom button one will recenter the focus, and custom button two is playback. So that wraps up this video on everything you need to know about the Mavic 2 Pro controller, including all the buttons, knobs, and connectors, how to control and maneuver your drone, as well as how to operate the camera. Please like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to stay tuned for future content, and sign up for our newsletter to get helpful videos like this one sent directly to your inbox.